four score camera crop and rearrange. Sometimes you want to bring a file in um, that is from a book or some other sheet music and you don't have it in PDF form. So there are several ways of doing that. You can do it directly from the iPad for score by if you click in the center to bring up the menu on the top and then on the right side click on the suitcase and then down to darkroom which is about a third a little more than a third of the way down and then you have a choice of uh, a camera and bringing in a file I want to use the camera and I have set up a um, music stand with um, the book on it and uh, I've got my iPad on a stand so that it's steady and uh, I've spent a little bit of time trying to get it relatively aligned but I'm not really worried about getting it exactly filling the space yet because I'm going to show you how to crop it in a minute. So when I photograph, a, when I in, in add a book to uh, Foursquare, I'd like to include the cover because um, I want to give credit to uh, the fact that that's where it came from. So I've got the cover right here and down at the bottom of the, of the screen there is a little camera icon and you just press that and it takes a picture. And so now I'm going to take that away and go into the book and there's a bunch of introduction I'm not going to include. I'm going to go to the first piece right here and just put that down and take a picture of that. And then I'm going to go to the second piece. And I'm going to actually hold it. I can't do it with both hands because there yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty good like that. Take the picture, move it over to the third page. Now this is all marked up. Um, so uh, I'm just going to use those two to illustrate this. Um, and so now I'm going to click on the lower left, click done. And I've got those three pages in there. And on the upper right, I'm going to click save. And I'll give it a name. Put in the name and save that. Tap on the screen to get back to the menu. And now I want to first get, add some metadata to this. So I'm going to click on the half note on the upper left and um, go to the all libraries. And it doesn't have a, I'm going to go to composer and it doesn't have a composer listed yet. So I'm going to go down to no composer and it's listed in there and tap on the little arrow and for a composer I'm going to say various genre is renaissance instruments uh, there was a one uh, comma and three and I think that was all I had in there was there was a piece that you, you could do summaries are coming in with one person or you could do it with three people you could probably do it with more than that but I'm gonna leave it at that and uh, important go to libraries here and trio and solo put in both of those and that's it for that tap in the center and then I'm going to open up this tab again and go in here and go to crop and now on crop, on the top is a slider that allows me to straighten it. And then I can use two fingers to expand it. Straighten it a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Then the, um, the greater than sign over in the upper right, click that to go to the next page. And increase the size of that, straighten it out. And just tweak it until I've got the way I want it. That looks pretty good. Go to the next page and increase the size of that. Slide it over. 
and that looks pretty good and this is actually a duet so I probably need to go back in here I'm going to click on top and then in there and comma two because there's a duet in there and add duet to the list I also want to I forgot I want to go down here and click on collection because it's a collection all right so uh, then um, let's say I want to have one that's just of the summaries are coming in I want to have a file that's just that so I'm gonna click on the middle to open up the menu click on the suitcase and I'm gonna to go to rearrange and I can rearrange the pages I can also, if I had one upside down, I can rotate the pages here with these little arrows. And uh, But in this case, what I want to do is I want just that page. So I click the X on the other two so that I'm going to have just summaries are coming in. And I'm going to click Save As because I want to save this as a different file. And this time, I'm going to get rid of all that and just type in the title of this particular piece and save that and this has a composer listed so I'm going to click on the middle click on the top and change from various here if I tap on that and hit the X on the right side of it that gets rid of that and I'm going to type in John and I don't have him in here yet so you need to add all the necessary information. And my convention on circa dates is C dot and the date with no space. And I'm going to guess that that's a birth date that they have there. And I assume this person is not still alive. So I'm just going to put a question mark at the end. So that's what I'm doing there. And of course, this is one or three or or four there are all kinds of different things you could do with this so I'm just gonna leave it like that you do one or three or four um, and it is no longer a collection and it is I'm not calling it a duet just for kicks I'm calling it a trio or a solo or a quartet so I put it in all of those and that's that. So now if I take a look in a tick tap the upper left and go to composer and go to F and John of whatever that is, and there it is. Voila.